Hello my acceptable people, this is me, Mr. Acceptable. As you can tell by the title or the picture on screen right now, I'm going to be showing you how you can get yourself a nice looking intro for your video. So let's get right into the video. First of all, we want to download Blender. If you don't know what Blender is, it's a free 3D software which you can animate to make your intros, for example. So you want to go to www.blender.org. Link will be down below in the description. Yeah, so basically just follow my steps as we go along. So basically you want to click on this little blue button which gives you lots of options for your different PCs. For example, if you have a Windows PC, it's got the option there. A Mac PC, it's got the option there. And a Linux PC, it's got the options there. It gives you other options as well. But because I am on a Windows PC, my best option would be the Windows option, obviously. So basically, once you found your desired version of the Blender software, you want to click on your language. So I'm English, so I want to click on USA, even though I'm from Britain. It's still English, so I can understand it. So once you've done that, you want to click on save. I'm not going to do it because I've already downloaded it. And now I'm going to show you how to install Blender onto your PC. So once you've downloaded the software and opened the installation progress, it will just tell you to press next just keep pressing next until it says finish it is as simple as that obviously it's t telling me to change it because i've already got a version and i don't want two versions so yeah just keep pressing next it is as simple as that and i'll see you in a bit obviously i'm not going to leave you there and just let you get on with it and try and figure out how to make an intro you can get a template from this guy stefan hd obviously there's other template videos out there but this guy is the best in my opinion he just provides loads and loads of blender templates for you to use once you have found a video and you clicked on it and then you've just looked through all the templates and you found your desired templates you simply go down below in the description and he will provide a link to the YouTube video or the download so I'm just going to show you here, even though I recorded this ages ago, I'm just going to commentate like I'm doing it right now. So you scroll down and basically it gives you the number and the download link. So for example, I'm going to click on this one, wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, you want to click on download and download it. If you ain't got a zip unzipper, I recommend you get a unzipper to unzip the file. Once you've downloaded it, you cope you open up blender and i'm going to show you how to do it right now so you don't have to struggle just follow me it'll be okay <laughs> so once you've opened up blender you want to click on file open and look for your file that you've just downloaded so yeah i'm just going to open up my template that i found on that guy's youtube channel at the moment it says name so to change what it says you want to right click and press tab on your keyboard I don't know what it is on a Mac, you just have to find that out and then you literally type whatever you want. So I'm just going to type test for example because this is kind of a test and we're, I'm just showing you how to do it. And once you've done that it's the same thing for the second text. You want to right click on the second part of the text and press tab and then literally type in the same word what you typed in as before. If you don't type in the same word it will look terrible and it will completely ruin your intro you're nearly done now you just want to set it up so you can render it you want to scroll down on this section here and click on output and click on this little folder here just save it wherever you want to save it it's completely up to you just make sure you can find it once it's been finished rendering so for example i'm just going to save it in my desktop because i know i can find it later you want to name your file accordingly so for example i'm going to name this one test test but you can name it your new intro or your intro whatever it's up to you now you want to click back on output and click on h264 and once you clicked on that you want to make it mpeg this is so the file format is okay when you put it into editing software yeah once you've done that you want to click on encoding and where it where it says form you want to click on that little drop down menu and click on mpeg 4 
again it's just for settings for other softwares and that's basically it you're all good to go so all we have to do now is render it so you want to scroll up and click on animation now what this does it animates the whole of your entire intro and once it's animated and rendered it will be completed and it will be in the folder you saved it in so remember where you saved your intro because it's very important so you can use it in your videos so that's basically it all you have to do now is wait for your intro to be rendered i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this video helped you out a lot just remember to like and share this video because that would be most acceptable and whatever you do just make it acceptable goodbye tell me how's a rapper look fly in a oxford tell me how's a rapper act quiet and awkward how's he got a buzz from chicago to rockford from new york to la oakland to conquer